All right, so this is a bit of a product review video here. Um, what I've got here is basically what I think is the most awesome accessory for Ableton Live or basically any other digital audio workstation for that matter. It is a new Acer B296, 296 CL monitor. Uh, and what's amazing about this monitor is that it is 29 inches diagonal and the uh, display, the resolution is 2560 by 1080. So that makes it uh, an aspect ratio of something like, what, 21 by nine instead of the normal 16 by nine. Um, gives you a lot more real estate on here. Um, it's a lot better than two monitors because there's no interruption. So basically, you know, you have one big arrangement view, one big session view. Uh, you don't have to like, you know, because no matter what you do, you're not gonna wanna stretch this across two monitors and have what it split like, it's gonna split like here, like part way through. Um, so instead, with this, you can really, you know, see what's going on. Even if you're looking at your whole song, for instance, there, a big chunk. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty impressive. Now, uh, I got this on special at Newegg. Uh, it was three ninety nine. Normally, it's about five twenty nine. So I don't know what it's going for at the moment uh, when you see this video, but uh, three ninety nine. I thought it was a pretty good deal. Uh, it's a little bit more, you know, certainly more than uh, your typical monitor, but when you think about, you know, what you pay for accessories or a controller or something, it seems worth it. Um, and I have some problems in my shoulders and neck, uh, some discs in my, my back, which make, you know, moving back, back and forth between monitors kind of a, a pain. <laughs> Pardon the pun. Um, the other cool thing about this is it's uh, the stand is designed so you can run it in portrait mode as well as horizontal the landscape mode like this and that has the added side effect of it basically being able to come up really really high and that gives you lots of space underneath it which I really like I've got my push and my machine under here and eventually I think I'm gonna put my audio interface and, and some things um, make some shelves or something that can go into there as well so I'm really excited about it um, you'll see more of it in uh, future videos this the, the big challenge with it of course is that when I do screen grabs, I'm gonna have to limit myself <laughs> um, to doing something like you know this, so that you know the YouTube videos look right. But the cool thing you'll notice now, I just kind of revealed I have a whole Max for Live uh, window over there. So imagine being able to like you know do your normal stuff and then have all that extra for watching tutorials on the side while you do things or you know working on Max for Live patches or whatever. So um, it's pretty cool. I like it a lot. Um, came with all these things. You know, you get an HDMI cable, uh, display port cable. What do you got here? USB cable. It's got a USB hub in it, four port USB hub. That'll come in handy. It's also 3.0, USB 3.0 hub, so that's cool. Uh, DVI cable. I'm just using the straight DVI um, power cable. I already had another power cable from my old monitor, so I just use that. Um, and. Uh, eighth inch audio stereo it has speakers built in I'm not using those because I've got you know much nicer monitors um, but it has them uh, the 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 uh, biggest thing is you know that the height distance uh, underneath uh, the USB 3.0 hub I think it's great um, I've only had it for a couple days now but you know we'll see how it goes all right, till next time, take care. This is uh, Eric uh, at LearnMax. Uh, also check out my website, www.erasermice.com for my Max for Live devices and show your support. Take care, good night.